Good evening, welcome to another unboxing video. Uh, this one in the, my series on my recently found interest in Wild West Wargaming uh, with the rules with no name. Uh, I got some um, artisan figures uh, last week. I've, I've based those and uh, undercoated them. There's a couple of uh, the Pinkerton detectives. Um, so they're waiting to be painted, uh, but in the meantime uh, time I ordered a few more. Uh, I wanted some sort of more cowboy looking figures. So I went online to War Games Foundry and I'd not ordered from them before. And I was really surprised with the uh, the speed of delivery. So I ordered uh, two packs of uh, cowboys. Uh, I ordered them at about 11 o'clock on Tuesday night and they arrived uh, on the early, early post on Thursday. So uh, under two days, uh, which is the best uh, in the last year of all the uh, orders I've I've made, whether that be f uh, figures, uh, paint kits, uh, uh, tanks, and stuff. Uh, nobody's managed to do it in two days. So well done to War Games Foundry. So I ordered uh, two packs. Uh, the first one, um, the VOW two three one, and that's uh, they describe that as the posse. Uh, they come in uh, packs of six uh, for 12 quid and uh, this was the first one. So we've got six uh, metal figures, 28mm um, with different uh, weapons. So this guy's uh, drawing a pistol from beneath his, his coat. So uh, I think there's probably uh, slightly less flash than on the artisan figures. Uh, possibly slightly more detail in the great coats. Um, I mentioned on my last uh, video that uh, the Pinkerton detectives from Artisan that there, there wasn't many sort of crease and fold detail in the great coats. Um, I mean, there's not a vast amount on these ones, but uh, possibly a little bit more. So here we've uh, we've got a guy with a pistol in in his hand. Um, no detail whatsoever on the great coat there. So there's there's no folds. It's just a plain uh, open great coat. A little bit of flash there, uh, but they'll clean up nicely. Uh, face details. Not uh, not very detailed. Um, so here we've got a guy with uh, his revolver. And the face is a bit more detailed on this one than the last one. Uh, another guy with a revolver. Again, not a massive amount of detail in the great coat. Um, not a massive amount of detail in the face, it has to be said. And the sixth figure is a guy with a rifle. Pistol on his hip. Again, a little bit of flash, but uh, nothing excessive. So that's the first uh, set I bought, the, the Posse. Uh, the second set, uh, OW094, which is described as the Trail Crew. So again, six figures. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, chap with a rifle. Scarf round his neck. A bandolier of ammo. A pistol on his hip. Another rifle. Uh, 
uh, pistol. And I'm not entirely sure what he's... I mean, it looks like a massive sword that's been hit with a hammer. Um, I'm not sure entirely what it's supposed to be, whether it's a bag or... Oh, no idea, really. I'll have to go on the website and see how they've painted those up. Another uh, rifle. Nice uh, scarf detail around the neck. And lastly, another rifle. So I'll get these ones clear, cleaned up and uh, put them on the base, undercoat them, and they can join the others. I've got one more order en route, um, a, a set of resin figures. I've never had resin figures, so I'm looking forward to receiving those. They're currently being processed, uh, so I'm not sure when they're going to come. So that's uh, that's it for the uh, War Games fans. Oh, incidentally, um, I forgot to mention they also included a, a free figure. Um, I've not had a look at this one yet. So we've got uh, oh, just some general information about the figure not being a toy and don't give to children. And then uh, details of all the types of figures they do. Anyway, uh, so they've included this. Um, I'm not entirely sure what, what it is. I presume it's an American Civil War. But uh, I don't have any American Civil War figures. So uh, he may be that, I'm not sure. Anyway, it's nice to have a, an extra free figure. So, uh, thanks for watching.